Goldstone, where I work for Collins Earthworks. It's a Collins machine, but it's mine. I'm in the driver, so and it's nice to have your own machine. Since, well, since I started, I've just been a rubber duck driver, so a bit of everything, really. Small earthworks bit, bits of civil's work, infrastructure work, everything. We cover everything. I worked on the East Midlands Gateway project, and then I'm currently on the Northampton Gateway project. So my last machine was another Volvo 170. The machine before that was a Volvo 160 rubber duck, and that's all my Volvo so far. That's covered me for five years. They've been fantastic. Um, I've never really had any serious issues. It's, it's always been something that's like just a small issue. So I spent quite a, quite a few hours on the last machine, um, and that was another custom machine from another driver. So th this is four and a half years of spending time on the last machine, and then be able to have a bit more capability here and there where I thought I lacked it in the last machine. So the whole machine is specially spec to be fair. So I've got a full light bar package with extra beacons all over the machine. So there's 21 work lights on the machine and then there's another two to go on. Flotation tires on, should give them more capability for on and off road. And so as soon as you get off road, you're not gonna struggle anywhere. New Encon tilt rotator that we had on to all top bottom with a high flow attachment so we can run flails and breakers and if we ever wanted to do it. There is a lot of other things on the machine, but it's a very, very long list. We took the jack legs off to reduce a bit of the weight as well. So, so this is the back of the machine. We took the jack legs off the back and swapped the blade from the front to the back for towing our trailer. Then it also means that if it's on the back, that that blade can now move up and down to pick the trailer up. So this is going to be a lot safer option for us. And then we've got the trailer braking system now as well from Volvo, which is a new thing that they offer. And then that's all fed into a quick connector. So. It's literally just a case of going to jump out, pull the quick upper off and that's it. We can carry on working. It's everything we've done is to try and make the machine a lot more versatile. And I'm looking forward to getting it back on some roadworks, even just sometimes on a bit of loose type one or loose stone or anywhere. The tires are going to help quite a bit. So I'm actually looking forward to just getting back on the project I'm on now. The new seat's lovely. They've upgraded the seat, I think. Even with a heated and air cooled seat, you can now change like the temperature of the, the heat in the seat and then you can change the power of the fan for the cooling in the seat and that's a really nice feature and it is nice to have somewhere comfortable to sit. It's, it is important for operator comfort. So everything's integrated. Literally anything you can think of, I can get it into the joysticks now. So, And the way, obviously, the way Volvo is set out, everything for Volvo is set out there anyway, sat by the sides of you, so everything is a lot simpler now. If you're specking it for yourself and try and do it the best for your work, then you want it to all be sort of exactly where you want things. So, had to have a custom set of joysticks done because of the vertical roller, and it's worth every every penny of, and all the all the effort of doing it. So, yeah, I'm I'm very happy, very happy with it.